Hey, Newfields is just days away from opening its second immersive experience. We're talking about an exhibit featuring Monet and his friends alive. Yeah, and you can see the masterpieces of artist Claude Monet and his friends come to life. I got the chance to go inside and get a sneak peek before it opens to the public. All right, everybody, you're now seeing the sights, listening to the sounds, and even tasting and smelling what it's like here with Monet and Friends Alive. Now, Jonathan Berger, we have met on a few occasions, yeah, yeah. but this one's special. This is your baby right here. Kind of yeah. tell me about this experience. You know, the Loom has been just a great experience for everybody here at New Fields and Indianapolis, and so we're just so terribly excited to introduce Indianapolis to yet another great artist or series of artists with Monet and Friends. Yeah. What makes this uh, so special to you? We talked about this being your baby, but this experience as a whole and bringing people into it, what does that mean to you? Well, you know, I'm an art lover. Yeah. And, uh, and it's so great to share, you know, someone's passion with so many other people. Uh, Van Gogh was our largest exhibition in our history. So we introduced uh, Van Gogh and our museum to so many people that, you know, maybe really were maybe a little intimidated about coming to a museum and exploring art and so we demystified that for them yeah now van gogh was a huge step and i mean it had so many people excited what gets you excited about monet and friends alive oh everything you know this is it's just a completely different feel uh, uh, you know, Monet and Friends is all about getting outdoors and enjoying, you know, art and nature, which is exactly what we're all about here at Newfields. And so uh, it really brings the whole campus together. Our whole horticultural team has, has done plantings out in the garden. We have uh, containers full of water lilies. You can see them in our fountains. And so it really brings everything together. How do you feel like this tells the story of the father of Impressionism? Oh, it does a great job. And and uh, so it, it's really an, a, a, a huge movement because it all started with the invention of the tube of paint. Yeah. Because the tube of paint uh, you know, took artists outside their studios so they could go out in the countryside and paint and not have to mix those paints in their studios. So it really was a, a whole new awakening for art. When fans come in and they check this out, what do you feel like is wowing them the most or kind of catching them as soon as they walk through the You know, I, I got to always go back to the magnitude of it. Yeah. The magnitude. We have 30,000 square feet of projection space here. Wow, wow, wow. That, just a little space. Just yeah, a little, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> just a little space. Um, and how do people sign up? Uh, well, you can go online, reserve your tickets. Tickets are on sale right now. We open to the public this weekend. All right, open it to the public this weekend, guys. Come experience it for yourself. We're going to have some more because we only started the tour. It just got started. Right. We got much more for you guys in just a little bit. Yeah, this thing is opening to the public on Sunday. I feel like there's going to be a line, George, yeah. to get into this thing. Well, it, and, and you saw the, the Van Gogh exhibit, and you said this one is every bit as... Yeah, it actually, you know what? No, don't call me crazy, Van Gogh fans. Might be a little step up. Well, and, and you know, and you, you think about the Impressionists, I think, by and large, Monet is regarded as the father of Impressionism. So a lot of yeah. these other guys were... We're students, protégés, mm -hmm. and imitators. So the friends, right? So, <laughs> so he, I think Monet is—he's he, the man. Yeah. So yeah. 